y'all welcome to southern staples thanks for joining me today and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so and i'd love for you to invite your friends and family as well thanks so much and have a great day hi y'all welcome to the southern staples kitchen thanks for returning today we're going to make a classic southern staple which is the peach pie now right now i chose a peach pie because they're in season um, these peaches look fabulous they're from the local farmers market everything you'll need for your peach pie are peaches, uh, sugar, flour, a little bit of salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of butter, some eggs, and today I'm taking the easy way out and I have actually purchased the ready-made pie crust in the refrigerator section. Now in another video I will tell you how to make the ready-made cr pie crusts look like it's a um, handmade pie. So with the crisscross topping and everything. And also watch my other video, which tells you how to get these peaches ready to cut up in an easy way. And it's a short little trick on the easiest way to peel the peaches. All right, the first step to the perfect Southern peach pie is actually something that's a big time saver. And that is how do we get five cups of peaches sliced up ready for the pie with the skin already on there. That's a big time consuming thing. I think that's why a lot of people don't want to make homemade pies anymore, but don't worry about it. It really does not take as long as you think. All you need is a pot of boiling water with a few inches of water in there and then also an ice bath. The ice is melted, but the water is still very cold and that's important. You need cold water. So what you do is you'll take your peach, not on the stem end, but the opposite end and just score it barely in an X. Drop it in the water. We'll do a couple at a time. Just gently, you're not trying to really cut through the flesh of the peach. This is just to loosen the skin up so it's easy to peel off. And then take tongs, because remember the water is very hot, so you do not want to reach your hand in to move the peach around or, or to get it out. We'll put some more in there as those kind of loosen up. It doesn't take very long, maybe a minute or actually probably just 30 seconds or so and as you can see I'm just really quickly scoring the bottom in an X and adding them to the water and you'll kind of see the ones that we put in earlier how the skin is already starting to peel back and that's exactly what we want to happen so what we'll do is once that's happened, dunk it into the cold water. See, that's a really good, dunk it into that cold water. Okay. And you can see it has already loosened it up so much that actually I don't even, I mean, really, I can just take my hands and peel it right back. So that's a huge time saver, and this will help us get our five cups of peaches ready to go to make our fabulous Southern peach pie. All right, now that we've peeled all of our peaches, all the skins off, now we're going to just slice it, and you'll need five cups of sliced peaches. And as you can see, I already have about two cups in this bowl, so you can see they're just narrow slices, just like this, and you'll need five cups. And that'll probably take you about um, 10 peaches unless you have really, really big peaches. Mine are average. Like I said, I picked them up in the farmer's market. Um, so yeah, so about 10 peaches will probably yield you um, about five cups of sliced peaches. And you might be lucky and not even need that many. All right, the next step is we have our five cups of sliced peaches in the bowl and we're making our filling now. Now I like to um, sprinkle about two tablespoons of lemon juice over the peaches. This will help them from browning. It just helps the flavor and it also helps the peaches cook where they are a beautiful color still. So I've just squeezed some lemon. So this is two tablespoons of lemon juice. Just kind of drizzle that over your peaches. And then we're going to mix five simple ingredients together. We're going to have a cup of sugar, a half cup of flour, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon nutmeg, 
and also a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm using just sea salt because that's what I have. So we're gonna mix this in this bowl. So again, this is a cup of flour. I'm sorry, that's actually a half cup of flour. This is a full cup of sugar. Then we're gonna take a quarter teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And I've just pre-measured these into this bowl. And then a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We're just gonna stir this dry mixture up until it's well blended. And as you can see, this really is not a complicated process. I mean, really, you probably have a lot of these ingredients already in your pantry. And then just pick up the fresh peaches at the farmer's market or at your local grocery store. And this is definitely great for a family as a special dessert, if you have friends over. Just a good classic southern summertime pie. And then we're just going to put this mixture, the dry mixture of the five ingredients we just mixed, over our five cups of sliced peaches. And then we'll just toss those gently. As you can see, just stir them gently. You can use a larger spoon. This is just what I had on the counter. And you, as you can see, that's getting a real pretty, looks like a fabulous peach pie filling to me. What I like about this too is that you're making it at home so you know that you're using quality ingredients for your family. And if you choose to get some fresh, you know, at the farmer's market and everything, you know that those are homegrown, organic. So, all right, there's our filling. All right, now we've already made our peach pie crust filling. And today you can actually watch my other video online on how to make a homemade pie from a store-bought crust, but I'll briefly tell you a little bit about it right here. I'm using a Pillsbury pie crust today. I've already put it in my ceramic pie pan, and I have taken one egg that's beaten, and I have just brushed it all over. This will help your pie have that nice golden brown look. Then you're just going to simply take your peach filling and pour it into your pie shell. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. Kind of make sure that it's all evenly dispersed looking. Okay. And then our next step is I'm using my other store-bought piece of pie crust. I've already rolled it out and you take a knife. You can just cover um, a pie crust on top of that, but I personally like the, the look that lattice work gives you. So I am taking a short, easy way out but in the end, my pie will look all very homemade, including the crust. Just not as much time involved in having to make my own pie crust, which I like. So I've just cut this into strips, as you can see, and this is just the other pie crust that came in the box. And then I'm just going to lay the lattice work, and as you do this, kind of pinch this part together where they meet. like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can totally do it however you want to. You could even cut out initials from the dough and put it on top. You could cut out um, fall leaves. If you were doing an apple pie in the fall, you could cut out fall leaves and place it on the top and those would be beautiful. So today I'm just going to make old fashioned lattice work. I just love how this looks. I think this just looks like a good old fashioned southern peach pie, except I didn't have to slave away in the kitchen making my own dough and pie crust. Okay, so we've got that done. And then you're going to want to just trim that off just for ease and doing it quickly. I think I'm just going to use scissors and go around the edge. And as you can see, this is really going to have 
a homemade look to it. Now, while we did do the, the filling from scratch, you definitely don't have to make the dough by scratch if you don't want to. Now, if you want to, go for it. I think you would love the process of it, but for time-wise, and then I'm gonna also take a little bit of that egg that I used earlier and just gently brush on the dough. And again, this will just give the dough um, and the crust once it comes out of the oven, that crum uh, the crunchy kind of golden brown crispiness that I think of when I think of a yummy Southern fruit pie. So just kind of use that egg all around As you can see, this really does not take very long. And then I take a fork, so you get that good fluted edge look that comes with a classic homemade pie. And if it's sticking like that just did for me, you can always dip a little bit of it in that egg and that will help it not stick so much. So there you go. You just go around the edge and give it that homemade fluted look. All right, now that we've used our store-bought pie crust to finish off the pie, and as you can see, I've added two tablespoons of butter, and I've just kind of pieced it and stuck it into the gaps. You can actually put the butter in before you do the lattice work, but hey, I kind of forgot, and no big deal. That's the beauty of baking. <laughs> you know, it all worked out. So we preheated the oven to 450, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. I would suggest using the middle rack. And we'll set the timer for 10 minutes at 450. And then after 10 minutes, you will reduce the heat to 350 degrees for 30 to 35 more additional minutes. So we've already let our pie bake at 10 minutes for 450. And then like I said, we reduced the heat to 350 for an additional 30 to 35 minutes. Now, like I said, everybody's oven cooks a little bit differently. Mine's um, pretty even temperatured. So I did leave mine in at 350 for the full 35 minutes. You just want it to look golden brown. So just kind of check it. Don't open the door too often though, because you'll reduce the heat inside every time. So here we go. As you can see, we have got a beautiful golden brown peach pie. And like I said, we use that store-bought pie crust and frankly, I think this looks very homemade, which is what we were going for. So it cut down a little bit on time for us. So there you have it. Put it on a beautiful cake stand for presentation. You do want to let it cool off a little bit before you serve it to your guests and to your family. Um, but a peach pie is really, really good. Served warm, but not bubbling hot. So let it sit on your counter for just a few minutes. Serve it warm. Maybe you even want to put it with some vanilla ice cream. Totally up to you. It's great by itself. So there you have it. Peach pie. Just a classic Southern dessert. Thanks so much for tuning in to Southern Staples today. I appreciate it, and I've had a lot of fun in the kitchen. I hope you have as much fun making your own peach pie. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so, and also invite your family and friends. Thanks so much. Y'all have a great day.